Welcome to Kingdom Builders, the channel that's all about helping you to live out of the right side and share your message. The right side is the Kingdom of God. Hi everyone, this is Diane with Kingdom Builders. You know, I just have a feeling, a knowing, that it's harvest time. God in His goodness has been waking us up and revealing things to come. We've been sharing with those who would listen and that's a lot like how Jesus did it. In John 16, 4, he said, I have told you this so that when the time comes, you will remember that I warned you. Think about it. We're in the last generation. How cool is that? Many of us have seen the 1967 recapture of Jerusalem. We've watched the information age explode. People are definitely running here and there. So here we are now approaching the Feast of Trumpets 2017. The heavenly sign of Revelation 12 is going on and we will see it reach its fulfillment on September 23rd of this year. Wow! What a privilege to witness these things. And you know what? I can hear the snorting and impatient stomping of the four horses of the apocalypse. Speaking of the Feast of Trumpets, there are two scriptures traditionally read during the celebration of the Feast of Trumpets that specifically mention being hidden from the Day of Wrath. Both are from Zephaniah. We must remember that those who have received Jesus as their King and Savior are one with Him, one spirit with the Lord. We are the body of Christ. He isn't going to abuse His body. He hides us from the wrath, the tribulation to come. But for those who have rejected Him, Zephaniah 1.18 says, Neither their silver nor gold will be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. The whole land will be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. The other scripture read on the Feast of Trumpets is Zephaniah 2, 1 through 3. Gather yourselves together, O nation not desired, before his wrath come upon you. Seek the Lord, all the meek of the earth, who have heeded his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness, that you may be hid hidden in the day of the Lord's anger. We are all in a countdown to the completion of the heavenly sign. All of us are doing a lot of heart searching. We're pondering what the sign means and we're stirring up our faith in his protection and deliverance. If, as we suspect, the heavenly sign heralds the start of the tribulation, and if, like us, you believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, then these next months of counting down should be pretty exciting. Is there a gap between the rapture of the church and the beginning of the tribulation? Very possibly. If you study Old Testament mourning practices, you find that God gave 30 days to mourn the passing of Aaron and Moses. Uh, but that's another video. In Hebrew, the word hidden means to hide by covering, to be absent, to keep close, conceal, hide in secret. Sounds like a rapture to me. Paul twice told the Thessalonians in his teaching on the Feast of Trumpets that God has not called us to the wrath to come. Rather, we have been delivered from the wrath and receive our salvation and that they should comfort one another with these words. The very meaning of the word salvation means preservation. Again, what a privileged people we are who are bought by the blood of Jesus and are the redeemed of the Lord. From everything we're seeing in our world, it looks like the manure is about to hit the fan. Why do I believe that it's harvest time? Because of the progression of the pregnancy and the heavenly sign. She is now in her sixth month. The body of Christ is coming together, forming, growing, and Mama is showing. As cells are formed to create a baby in the womb, so the individual members that form the body of Christ are being brought together and made one. How exciting! Jesus prayed in John 17:20 for his body. He said, I pray also for those who will believe in me through their message, that all of them may be one, Father, just as you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The deliverance of the body of Christ will be proof to the world that we have been sent by God and that his word is true. Thank you for watching. If this video was encouraging or helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. 
We so appreciate you. We are here for you. We invite you to share with us your thoughts and concerns regarding current events. God has called us to dedicate our lives full time to build you up and encourage you through our speaking, writing, and creation of these videos. We're committed to sharing the good news of His kingdom and His soon return.